Well, that sucked. Okay, good. Uh, I think Hardy broke it by accident. I'm going to have to... I'm still off? Am I still gone? Oh, thanks, Vulsadol. Uh, I think Cardi broke it. And getting a hold of Cardi is like a pain in the ass, but I think it's broken. So I'm going to have to um, contact him somehow. Lame. But whatever. So those of you entering the, the contest, I'm going to say this ad nauseum. Oh, Volsadol, that's fixed in this update. He, uh, he updated that in today's update. But the problem is that the... Oh, that's true, Cromwell. The, the owner may not have updated yet. That's true. So I can't use their guest journal until maybe they update. But if you're going to use uh, do the contest, you have to use only one room. Can I read your eidetic compendium? Or is that also not gonna work? It's not gonna work. No, no, it's cool, it's up. Just today, so you didn't miss much. Um, so what this person has done is they've, if they're entering the contest, they've done the right thing in the sense that they just used, oh no, they didn't. You have to be able to fit everything you want in the pick into a screenshot so this stuff won't all fit in a screenshot i guess it could if you did this but you know how jay hard is he wants it all in a screenshot so if this person is just doing it for themselves that's fine but if they're doing it for the contest i'm not sure much of it will get in the screenshot and secondly this room won't count or this is the only room that it'll count and then this room doesn't count you have to pick a room. That was unclear to me. I Lockhart updated me on that, and I checked with Jay Hart, and that is the truth. So that he updated his post to say, uh, he updated his post to say that. So let's go to houses that aren't. I do too. I mean, it's a good usage of of that. Let's go to houses that aren't on the hub because. Uh, I don't want to not sign in, you know? So there's a couple of these that I don't think should be on it. And then if not, I'll look at the ones that I'm saving from... What's her name? Ula. I do know these things. I do know them. Stay moist. Stay moist. Stay moist. You must stay voiced. Well, that was annoying that that crashed like that. I apologize. But yeah, so with this update, I just read the, the notes. It does appear that Cardi fixed the EHT problem on the PTS, but I can test it later because I'm not, you know, I, I had the same problem, but I thought it was the base game. Uh, and I thought it, I don't know. We'll see. Wow, this is stay moist? Holy crap. Amazing. How cool is this? I'm sitting here going, how did they do that? Right? That's a sky shard placed underneath the so that it looks like the pole is glowing magically. That is a super nifty trick. Effects without using effects. I really like that. Um, look at this. This reminds me of, is this like turtle racing? It is, look! They got the turtles on one end and they've got fishies in, over here. And this is where the people sit and watch the turtle races. This is so charming. Oh my God, I'm gonna squee. This is so cool. What a great idea. I'm super impressed. This is very pleasing to me. 
They did it again over here, too. Oh, God, it's going to be amazing. They can make races. They can make turtle races. Yeah, I am squeeing. I'm sorry. If it's too annoying. Ah! Turtle racing. Too cute. All right, second floor up here. It's a good way to, to illuminate that with the dwarven light. All right, let's go back to the front of the house, shall we? Okay, now let's go inside and then we'll go upstairs because there's walkways. Oh, it really could. That would be fun. I can't wait to see what people come up with it. Eek, I can't get in. So we've got a kitchen. I suppose have a bite to eat after you watch your turtle race. Lots of normal foods too, so it's probably not just Argonians. Well, I want to visit it after you update it with the stuff and I'll come and see your race. It'll be fun. Storage and then maybe this is a dueling area it, just because it appears to be open space. And then a nap zone. A little bit of crafting. I do this too, and I, I love the detail, and I wish that other people would, would notice it. I love when people put a knife in pictures. It implies what's going on, feeling-wise. You know, obviously they don't like that person. And I think it's really cool when they show that off. So, this looks like a way down, so let's start on the other side. There's multiple ways up, but let's try going this way up. So we have lots of little figurines. Maybe that's the souvenir shop, I don't know. And then we've got the glowy poles. And what's this? What is this thing? That's that uh, mushroom guy. I think that what happened to the mushroom guy is a mushroom dude crab is that they probably put him on an angle and a couple of uh updates back all the pets got turned funny and this one probably got turned funny so they may want to fix that but check out the um the history the, the actual history from outside this area i wish we could make something like that i wish we had the dangling hist flowers because could you imagine how pretty that would be I can't even think of a way to fake those. I wish we could. Uh, but there isn't like a flower that really looks like that. That red. The closest I've seen is that big tulip looking thing that people use. Um, and that's pretty good. But it's not glowy. So I guess I just, you know, you get what you can ask for. By the way, in this house, I've mentioned it before, but you could build up stupid high. If you wanted to, you could build this whole thing up here. It's a great use of, of if you don't like the house itself, get stay moist and just build up high. And we have another hist up here. And I see we have guards over there. You see in the tower? That's pretty nifty. We'll get over there somehow and then he's got stairs down with a with a fence in which is really appreciated for people like me who can't walk straight all right now we go over here wow so many paths all right what's in here a prayer like a little chapel looking out man this house makes me want to build another uh another stri uh stay moist just really high up in the air but i have my i have a house there that i really like so i don't want to destroy it but this is really cool P 
Harari in jail where she belongs. Wow, lots of neat tricks here. See, they used those um, tents as a walkway. So you can go up high here too, although I've hit the invisible wall. So this is just for looking out. And then this is obviously the orc gazebo. And then now we can go visit the sentries. Hi, here's your sentries. Huh. Yeah, it's it's just it's it's a hateable house until you see how high up you can build. It's really impressive. Um, let's go to another house. Aztecs. Yeah, I love this house. Thank you for for letting me see it. Old Miss Bell. Nope. Wait, I saw a DJMS on it yesterday or whatever, and I want to make sure DJMS exercised. Okay. Nope. Wizzy Woo? I know I saw Wizzy Woo yesterday too, but let's try it. Velothi. Okay. Are we gonna go? Are we gonna, yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, this was Chansey, C-H-A-N-S-I. Don't think it's in it, anything in it. Well, if you're me, you're a big old nerd who keeps all sorts of notes like that. Because I'm ridiculous. So this house was had stuff in it. Um, I use, I use a, uh, well, I'll be honest, I used to use uh, <clears throat> a, day, a, a spreadsheet, but I don't anymore. Um, at this point, I rely on my notes that I make a, after a stream, you know, I, like how I index it. Wow, this is nifty. I like this. I like going up high. Let me up. big fan of going up high. Oh, check it out. A romantic hideaway. Wee. So 
is Maximon, but I spend hours every day uh, editing my videos, indexing my videos, putting them up everywhere they belong, and uh, it takes a lot longer than I care to admit because I'm not very good at it. Then on top of that, I tend to also, is this just storage? No, there's, there's a weird like lighting thing going on here. Oh, a slide. I get it now. All right. And there's, this is going to be a slide down and a slide up. All right, let's go back. This will be fun. They closed off the slide. Got it. <laughs> but I'm going to sneak through. I'm all about the slide. Can't do it that way, though. Anyway. Cool slide. Cool slide, bro! So, here we have the house. We'll go up the house. I'm guessing the majority of the fun stuff's gonna be outside, but they did, in fact, decorate this. I'm not gonna skip over it, because they decorated it. But I think the fun stuff's really gonna be outside. Oh, I'm wrong! Look at this cool bedroom! Oh, does it? Oh, that's wonderful news. Thank you, Tierna. Pleasing. Quite pleasing to know. I sent a, I sent a video into Mod Atrikoth, you know, the guy who sometimes, he's a mod who sometimes comments on our videos and our pictures on the forums. Always pretty complimentary, he's never a dick or anything. So I contacted him and I sent him a clip from one of my streams and I'm like, could you get this along to the, oh my god, I love that. Look at the little, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, I love this. <laughs> hey, Wordy Wolf, check that out. What a great bathtub. Mm, I love it. It's so adorable. Nice touch with the, the band across the, the fur there. Anyway, so I sent him a, a video and I said, could you please get this to the devs in charge of making the antiquarian house so that they know how much I appreciate that, that house. And it, all it was, was just a listing of me. It was just a little short video of me talking to you guys about how much I love that house. And so I got a message back that he did in fact send it to them. So that, that's happiness because let's go back. Um, I'm really glad that he did that. I think it's a he. I could be wrong. Um, but I don't think they get enough thank yous. I think that they get a lot of people, you know, something good happens and they get a whole bunch of people asking for more. It doesn't seem like there's ever a break of yay, thank you. It just goes from, oh my god, they introduced this, stuff, oh my god, to but can we have this? <laughs> you know, it's like, there's got to be somewhere in between, folks. A little spot to fish, but I think you might have some difficulty seeing as it's way down. That's a really long string. And can sit and swing in the breeze, I'm assuming. I do like the walkway. Ah, they used my trick. So, check it out. See? See how they used my trick? That's the in uh, one of those achievement uh, tiles. You see them? I'll try to get it before it flickers out. That's the tower. So they use the achievement tiles upside down. There's no art on the back of it. So it looks like you're standing on invisible ground because they used, they used that nifty trick. Isn't that cool? 
You're just walking across ivy. Ah, dead. How did I not die there? That was magic. Creepy magic. And there we go. Fun house. I think we skipped one little walkway, but I don't know really how to get to it. Admit it, you guys like seeing me die. It's funny. Well, I did get out there. Okay. And I didn't die! That is so weird! Alright, uh... Shamira. Nope, I spelled that wrong. Shamira. Nope, spelled that wrong too. Shamira. No. <laughs> well, I didn't. Nope, no vids. No permissions. Medusa. Six, six, six. That's a name for you. Medusa six, six, six. Wait, no. Eight. Oh my God. Let's see if this name even comes up. H B D. F J K. KD, this name, FJK, DVK, DFJ, GHG. <laughs> yeah, I'm not shocked that name is invalid. That's hilarious. That name. That's a, that's a person who doesn't like me. <laughs> Although they made this house years ago, so I'm sure it has nothing to do with me. bodies, a wall being broken down. This is a scary house. Ooh. Ooh, creepy. What's going on? There's a wolf. It's going to eat us. You know, as scary houses go, it's hard to make a truly scary house. So many scary houses are just cheap, cheap scares, but I think creepy wolves actually really do add a level of actual creepiness to it. Oh, that's funny. <gasps> that is so cool. The golden skull. They've got a candle on his head and an apple in his mouth. And he's peeking out of the mirror. Oh, I love it. That's silly scary, let's be honest, but it's funny. I like it a lot. Lots of the, the sticks from Stickoween. I don't know if any of you remember this, but a few years ago, um, for the Halloween Witches Festival, they, in every box, pretty much, was a stick. And sometimes that's all we got, was a stick. You know, these burned branches or, or some kind of other stick. There were multiple sticks. And so I dubbed it Stick-A-Ween. And so this person has clearly made use of Stick-A-Ween to use... <laughs> Lots of sticks, <laughs> which is funny. I like this. Also like the shelving, actually. That's legit, too. I'll get another knife in somebody's face. I, I'm telling you, they're letting you know how they feel. Of stick-a-ween? Yeah. And, like, I used to 
I used to help a, a guild with its bank during that holiday. Oh my God, the number of sticks we got. And no one wants them. You can't sell them back then. Um, what a pain in the ass they were, all the sticks. Couldn't even vendor them, I don't think. I forget. Uh, but it was funny. It was a very amusing thing. All right. Cable gone Velothi because we didn't go to the other Velothi. Polish got... Wait, but it's not. I mean, don't you guys have a traditional uh, holiday that's akin to it? Right. Well, yeah. I can't remember my research on Poland, but I could have thought. I know a lot of countries have an akin to it. Uh, real, like... Like, I know Italy has one with the witches come and sweep and all sorts of weird stuff like that. There's there's lots of weird ones. Calga gone? Cable gone. Um, Galathic, because that one wasn't working on the other eye. Yeah. Well, that, we have that too. That's the day after. Well, you know, I mean, it's not like we haven't heard that garbage in the U.S. as well. Uh, people wanting to get rid of it because it's it's all the stuff associated with hell. I mean, they wanted to ban Harry Potter for the same reason. Luckily, those people aren't the majority, but they're certainly out there. Yeah. Cable okay, on. Got a Velothi Reverie with a nice little meal inside. No, I know, there's real problems. But some people consider that a real problem. They think it's, yeah, I know. What on earth is that? What are those? Are those the... What not? Oh, those are just regular knives. Interesting. I've never seen anyone make a symbol with that. But that looks really cool. Yeah. I get you. And then somebody actually put books in there. That's hand placed. Nice bedroom. Lots of money. This is a super traditional dark elf house. I mean, everything seems like really on target for, well, we have a couple of, this is high elf, but for the most part, things are very dark el elven. An orc statue, I guess. Little graveyard in the backyard. Can't ever move away. <laughs> and a stage, I suppose. Very nice. Wow, I don't even know how long uh, I've been streaming because it, cause it crashed. But let me get to... <clears throat> let me get to... Mute. Alright, I gotta check something. Alright, so this one... An hour and 16 minutes. 
Oh, that's funny. For the cover of my stream, they picked the picture of the of the toaster <laughs> as the screenshot. I'm like, the one second I show a toaster and it's that's the one they want to put up. That's pretty funny. All right, uploading it. So we're in, uh, we're in about uh, Medusa 666DXC, who would probably be banned in Poland for using the numbers of the devil, given how Poland's going. Okay, so this is something that I also saw Futergo do, hanging corpses from the roof. And I have to tell you, of all things that I have seen that's freaking scary in this game, this wins. There is something so tremendously frightening about bodies being hung from the ceiling that I really can't express to you. If you really want to go for the scare with me, this will do it. Uh, every time. There's something about it that's so terrifying. When I saw Futerko do it, I actually messaged, sent her a mail, and I said, that is just the most terrifying thing. And she actually apologized to me. I'm <laughs> like, you don't need to apologize. That was the point. It's a Halloween house. We got some scaries, and what is Azabi doing here? Azabi, you're too good for this place. And we've got a bong, pretty clearly. Let's be honest, that's a bong. There's no chance of that being anything else but a bong. So that's like, next stage. Well, I mean, maybe they'll ban Harry Potter because that's what they were talking about here. All right, steps up, where are we going? You can actually build up in this house too, it's kind of surprising but I don't think that they've built it out. So you just get to see where Humble Mud really is. It's, it's in Balfoyen, so. Well, this is what we're going through. So, I mean, in a, in a way, I totally get it. Uh, if it doesn't end in November, I think I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, we've been dealing with this for years now, and it's really hard for me. Really hard for me, more than you know. And today we lost a hero, a true hero who was fighting for our side. And it's really hard. His loss is hitting me really hard. Uh, on top of my own personal stuff going on, this was, this was really hard. We lost uh, John Lewis, for those of you who might know who he is. He was a big... Um, he was a big factor in the, uh, what? Sorry, I'm trying to pull up the article. In the uh, civil rights movement. He died of cancer. Um, and he was a Georgia congressman. And it's very, very hard to have lost him. Um, he was one of the leaders who was really trying to protect us from everything that was going on. So it's a hard day for us. You know, it's like, it's so often we have so few leaders left that it feels like I don't know. It feels like sometimes that we're not going to survive and people like that give us hope you know and then the other really hard part was that the really hard one that hit me probably as hard as everyone else is uh in the u.s is is that ruth bader ginsburg's uh, cancer came back so that's a horrible thing um now we're all terrified that she's going to pass before before the election and Trump will get to put another person in and and I have to tell you how bad of a how bad that would be for us um 
but she did put out a letter saying that she's gonna keep working until she can't anymore so that was a that was a true gift from her you know we have to take our leaders and our heroes where we can get them and we're so limited right now on that that it feels like so many of them have died you know or have cancer or some other terrible thing right if you look at it like nancy pelosi's over 80 um we've got so many people who are we're in danger of losing i've seen this before this is adorable this is sorry's is uh i guess they're iguanas or geckos I just love this house. It's so cute. Made out of cots. Not sure why I, I don't. And there's a little skull. So it's a, it's a hard day for us in the U.S. too. So I understand. With every advocate and every hero we lose, we get one step closer to fascism. And it's terrifying. Absolutely. What are you going to do? Forge Masters. All right, we'll check out here. Forge Masters. Thanks for the list, by the way. Did I go dead again? No. This will probably be it because I, I need to see the houses. Hi, Stabati and Griff. How are, How are you? You, today? you know what's so funny, Nana, is yesterday he asked me if I had seen you recently. And I said I haven't. But that I figured you were still around. You're such a sweetheart. Uh, good to see you. I hope you're well. You know, I've been worrying about that. He literally asked me yesterday. It's the truth. Oh, wow. What have we here? I can't even say their name. M48KH4R4. I'm glad to hear it. I was worried about you. I'm always worried about you whenever it's been like a little bit. It's a castle. And we get to go up inside of Malakath's legs, which I'm not sure how I feel about. Because <laughs> you can't go in the front door. Bang, bang, bangs on the front door. Yeah, well, I'm glad to see you. I really am. It's the good people you never see enough of. So what is this? Like, the basement? Is that how they're... That makes sense. And then you come around. Wow, this is really nifty. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. Thanks for the suggestion, Ula. I love the view here. I've often thought about building a, a, a home here, but now that they're giving us the antiquarian, I, I just am done with that. Oh, look, it's similar to what we made earlier today, but they used a dwarven piece and they actually used two axes instead of and hatchet like my moron ass did. <laughs> and we've got a nice terrarium or aquarium. I can't tell from the glare. Did you pee? And we're going up in the tower, I think. Nice kitchen. Wow. Okay, that's super cool. I've never seen anyone do that, and it's an amazing trick. So that's the Sithis door with the stained glass set into it. That looks fantastic. They made a gorgeous, gorgeous window. What? How people come up with this stuff, I just don't know. They're just geniuses. Little, probably guard room. Wow, this is a really tall tower. At how high up we are I mean it makes sense because you're if you look at it we're not even as well we I guess we're a little bit above the the height of the waterfall at this point which is where you can build to anyway so 
it just different part of the property. So the that is the perfect use of the uh, dwarven sun, but also adding those three sky shards makes it even brighter. That is really neat. Let's see. I I know there were doorways out that I missed, but I was I was intent upon getting to the top at first. So let's see. Oh look, fishies on a uh, on boards. I love that trick. It's so cute. All right, so this is just a window, not a way out. But this this is a way out. No, this was the way in. Do we have anything behind here, or is it all? I mean, I would be shocked if there's more because they have so much put in that section. No, I think this is it. What a cool house. Great job. Very unique and well made. I'm super impressed with the clock tower. I really am. All right, folks, I'm going to call it, but I will catch you all around and uh, have fun and good luck on your stuff today. Happy building. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.